Thank you for joining us on FFG Live. <laughs> oh, we already got chuckles. Everybody's excited. I'm excited. Okay. I'm Josh Massey. I'm your host. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I am here today with three, well, not three of, my three favorite developers at Fantasy Flight. I'm here with Grace Holdinghouse, Phil Henry, and Duke Harris. And these three amazing people all work on a wonderful game that I'm sure you're all here for because you saw, you know, everything popping up before, <laughs> Journeys in Middle Earth. Woo! So yeah, we're gonna be playing some Lord of the Rings today. We've got some new characters. We've got some new story. We've got a lot of new stuff. And I just need to tell you all that we are in the same boat here. They have experienced all of this. And little story, when Grace showed up today, she was like, okay, so Josh, how much do you want to know about this adventure and what's going to happen? And I very nicely, I think very nicely, shut her down <laughs> because I want to be as surprised as everybody else is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just super stoked for it. And um, I'm going to apologize in advance. I was given the bard hat. So that means that at some point I will probably <laughs> sing and I'm sorry, but yeah. So yeah, Let's we're gonna just jump, jump in into this. To the first adventure of Spreading War. Yes. We have our heroes selected in the app. Mm -hmm. we we're thought, playing so. all new heroes, the four of the six that come in Spreading War. So why don't we cover that? Who sure. is everybody playing just so that they can be aware? I am playing Kalamanth Took, our new Hobbit hero, as a provisioner. Okay. And what does the provisioner do in general? Uh, she gives people food and makes them feel better. I mean, it makes sense <laughs> based on the name. Yes, so the provisioner role uh, plays a lot with the food trait on cards. Okay. Um, pulling from the discard or preparing, um, getting bonuses to those things, which hobbits already really love. Mm -hmm. um, so Callie really loves uh, feeding people. Nice, nice. And yeah. hitting people with a stick. Yes, she also wields a mace. <laughs> mace, turkey leg, whatever. You can't trust a took. All right, and Phil? I am playing a lesser known hero by the name of Boromir. <laughs> Boromir, I, I'm not familiar with that one. Boromir? I know a lot of people are excited for Boromir. Yes. So who, uh, what Bo role are you playing? Boromir is a soldier, which Mostly is for fighting, but also some <laughs> utility things. The soldier gets a skill called sleep anywhere. Because <laughs> it's a skill you learn. Um, okay. And Boromir is, as people might expect, pretty good in a fight. He's got that big beefy might of four. He's got, he can take seven damage. Yeah. However. <laughs> there is a weakness here. <laughs> some of you might know that Boromir is a little prone to bad decision making. Hence, his very low fear threshold. I've had a lot of people <laughs> comment on the decision to give him a three fear. And I just want to point out that like dark whispers, ill uh, omens, uh, those are all fear cards and should affect Boromir yeah, more. Yeah, it's not that he's a coward, it's that he carries the trauma of being Dana Thor's <laughs> kid. <laughs> yeah. That's one way to put it. I wouldn't want that. What's the other exciting thing about Boromir that he gets to play with? The you equipment. You're talking about that plate armor? Yeah, new armor comes in Spreading War. One of which is the plate armor. 
which uh, Boromir helps Boromir in a fight, like we've been saying. Yeah, we see that lower agility like we saw with Ringmill. It's hard to dive out of the way when you're covered in metal. Mm -hmm. But just really reliable. Have a bonus success when you're getting hit. Mm -hmm. Nice. And who are you playing, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> I am playing the one, the only Bjorn. <laughs> I, right now, I think I have to start the game as Bjorn and not the bear. Correct. You so I'll be side. Bjorn for as long as I have to be. <laughs> but as soon as humanly possible, I will be a bear. Or inhumanly possible. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Bjorn is really cool because obviously, you know, he gets to transform. So I have stats. Mm -hmm. I am Bjorn. But then throughout the game, based on Bjorn's cards, mm -hmm. I can switch and become the bear. <laughs> and get that sweet, sweet oh, might of yeah. five. That stat line. <laughs> lose out on, you know, some other things. Obviously, interacting as a bear, doing other things as a bear would probably be more difficult because thumbs. <laughs> Vocal cords. And those, those, I mean, grunts yeah. only get you so far, Yeah. right? So yeah, super excited for that. Um, as Bjorn, though, I am the guide. Mm -hmm. So funny that the guy who hasn't played any of these characters or this adventure is the guide but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna do some fun things and i'm yeah. gonna tell you guys what to do and where to go and it's gonna be bad advice not that these cards are actually gonna do that but we'll get into that as we play you don't have to be good at your job your character is good at your job. right exactly is that perfect how we're playing <laughs> and all right duke, and duke. Are playing? i'm playing freya hild of rohan all right, and we talked a little bit about Freya Hild and the exciting thing about Freya Hild getting a getting an extra hand slot and a and mount. A mount. And a mount. Yeah. Mount. Uh, so we've got yeah. Okay. We got Snowbright over here. Uh, Snowbright helps you uh, helps reassure you basically going into battle and is your faithful companion and uh, looks pretty cool too. Yeah. <laughs> and then yes, you did uh, mention Freya Hild also can carry a one-handed item and a two-handed item at the same time. Spear in one, shield in the other. Yeah. Well, we're getting really crazy with it. I want to oh. see how people oh, yeah. play around with it. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a battle axe or a mace mm -hmm. with a sword like just double gripped in this hand. <laughs> so smash and stab. <laughs> That's the way I picture it. But yeah. 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 Sweet. All right. Well, oh, and Freya Hild starts as oh, a... Yes. Oh, as a shield maiden. Yes, very Sh good. Shield maidens are really good as uh, point people and supporting others. Mm -hmm. So nice. I'll be watching all y'all's backs. All right. As I tell people where to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fairly but well now we party. have the most important question of any campaign. Ooh. What should our name be, chat? Yes. We have good ideas. What Please is name our us. name? Keep it appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, what, what, should we give them 30 seconds? Sure, yeah. Sure, 30 seconds. Everyone shuffled their deck, right? Yeah. I shuffled them exactly sure where I wanted that. them to be. <laughs> no, clever. No, no, very clever. Not how that works. Oh, dang. My first card I draw is I'm going to scout right into a weakness, so you'll, <laughs> you'll know that that's not the case. <laughs> mm. Don't name us anything Peter Jackson wouldn't. <laughs> Oh man, some of these cards are very exciting, but we're only playing yeah. the first adventure. No new XP. Yeah, you don't That's get to play okay. with the spectacle yet. You want to just <laughs> call one out, Candace? What's the best one we've seen? What? Best name that we've seen in the chat. So far, there's only one, and it's Cheesemonger. Sure. Cheesemonger. Cheesemonger. Oh. <laughs> Cali approves. Okay, <laughs> yeah. perfect. Let's go mong some cheese. Fantastic. So then, are we playing the audio in the stream, or should I read it? Should have audio. I believe we have audio. And you have seen many memories on your way. Oh, I do love this intro. Your travels have taken you far and wide, and you have seen many wonders on your way. But in recent weeks, you have seen more horrors than wonders. Traveling through the kingdoms of Rohan and Gondor reveals to you a plague of mercenary attacks. Your heart breaks to see mountain villages burned to the ground, 
refugees on the road hungry and seeking aid, the rivers and fens polluted with the passage of foul beasts. Lord Danathor and King Theoden cannot be insensible of the attack. Perhaps they have need of heroes like you to help push back the tides of war. So I believe we will be spreading from war. Yes, war, war will be spread. Chapter one, the Council of Saruman. That sounds appropriately mm. grand. Counselly. He's the leader of the wise, right? <laughs> <laughs> we can trust him. I trust him implicitly. <laughs> After leaving a plundered village in the remote plains of Rohan, you hear that Lord Danathor II, the ruling steward of Gondor, has invited King Theoden of Rohan to join him in seeking counsel from Saruman of Isengard about the rising mercenary threat that looms over both their kingdoms. Knowing that the mercenaries are more than they appear, you ride to the Tower of Orthanc to tell those wise leaders what you know. The next adventure will be a battle map. Ta da! Embark for Orthanc. Alright. So. Orthanc yes. is nice this time. Deorn is a guide. Deorn is a guide. I, Boromir, am a soldier. Calamanth is a provisioner. Mm -hmm. And Freya Hild is mm -hmm. a shield maiden. As we said. Will it let you select sleep shield maiden? Try one more time. We do here. Come on. There, there we, we go. go. I think my yeah. fingers are all tapping, tippy tapping. There we go. Now we're ready. Gazing into the palantir. Too much limbus. The end is my hand. <laughs> <laughs> After riding through the wide plain surrounding Isengard, the Tower of Orthanc is imposing in its height and fortifications. The doors are heavy oak bounded with iron, built to withstand even the heaviest battalion of invaders. However, as you approach, those weighty doors swing open gracefully, without a sound or any sign of a natural mechanism. Place a battle map as indicated. There it is! Whoa, it's already placed! We knew it! it. Inside Orthanc, the delegations of Rohan and Gondor are already waiting. The warriors and counselors left in the entrance hall sit in nervous silence, apparently bid to wait on the decisions of their lords. You are directed up the tower stairs to the highest room, where Saruman meets with Lord Danathor and King Theoden. Place heroes as indicated. We are going to be... <laughs> oh, no, I think. Space. Well, and you Stand can't. up. Oh, <laughs> Each hero scouts two. Then each hero with a valor skill prepared gains one inspiration. All right, all right. <laughs> I do not have a valor skill. I will prepare my love. I told you. Yes. I did it too. You, I, I'm sitting too close. I shuffled both of our decks clearly. Mm. Uh, Ooh, see. you prepared one of your soldier successes. Yes. I Which just prepared you might want to look men. at the love of war and nice. valor since it's a new card. All right, let's do it. Also, worth noting the art on this card. Yes, so <laughs> Kenny fans might know Nathan Hodjak also designed Journeys in Middle Earth, and that is him. That's his art. <laughs> yeah, he got a card in the yeah. game. Yeah. Wow. So what does it do? Oh, yes. Because so I, can't, I can't see <laughs> this. It's okay. Valor and Tactics. I prepared it so I can get that sweet right, inspiration yep. this turn. Uh, mm -hmm. After you strike with this skill, you and each hero with a prepared tactic skill gets to scout two. It's also got strike two. Yep. So the soldier role deals a lot with the tactic trait, mm -hmm. um, in addition to some other mm -hmm. tricks we throw in there. Um, but a lot of the cards care about chaining those effects. And the, the soldiers have a couple of repeated skills because... Soldiers work best as a group, so they get extra bonuses if there are multiple people in the same campaign who kind of dip into that role mm -hmm. and pick up some soldier training. Mm -hmm. Cool. Consistency is the name of the game. Yep. Right. And we did have one question in the chat, um, really quick, asking about new armor sets. We did mm -hmm. show off that Boromir mm -hmm. does have the plate armor, so mm -hmm. yes, there and are new armor sets. There is another one that we didn't show off that oh. Freyhild starts with. That's true. Well, yeah. let's yeah. show it now. We have so then double yes padded armor as well, um, which is, tends to be a more efficiency item right. of letting you use your mm -hmm. um, inspiration wisely. Nice. Cool. There, there are also new uh, higher tier armors mm -hmm. of the ones from the core game. Mm -hmm. Right, right, as we discussed so. in our unboxing. Tier 4. Yeah, yeah. We add tier 4. We also <laughs> add... I think it's. I think I'm not lying to you. I think there are some new fire <laughs> uh, ring mails. It's and been a while since you worked it, it on this It has been a, a long time. Um, 
It uh, was entirely designed during quarantine. Yeah. And so I, uh, Phil and I were kind of like video chatting over a lot of things. Yeah, and the learning how to play this game in play tests remotely was mm -hmm. a new thing we had to figure out. Not something I'd want to do. <laughs> but we did it. All right. A long council table dominates the small tower room. Place the following terrain, two tables. <laughs> you want to move this over a little bit? Your host, the great wizard Saruman, sits at the head of the table. He does not so much as glance in your direction, seeming deep in contemplation. Place a person token as indicated. This is Saruman. Danathor, the steward of Gondor, is standing to deliver an impassioned speech. Place a person token in that center space. This is Danathor. Sure. Yeah, let people get another look, better look at that. Seated at the other end of the table, King Theoden of Rohan waits with ill temper for Danathor to be finished speaking. There's Theoden. Place the following terrain, two chests. Chests is one of the new things that comes in this expansion. Indeed, do we want to? Yeah, bring up the card for the it. The chest. Throw Ooh, that in the, the chest. All right. In the and tray for people to look ha, at. Ha. All right. So, what are the what do the chests do? I need to know. <laughs> uh, chests tend to bump up lore. Okay. Lore tends to be a little oh, scarce yes. on battle maps in general. Yeah. Um, journey maps tend to be where you get a lot of that. Uh, chests give a way to insert some lore into battle maps, as well as in these campaigns, um, the Spreading War campaign, uh, we need those tier four items to be hit, and so right. if you really want to accelerate your lore, go loot mm -hmm. some chests. Right. Assuming, as always, that you have time <laughs> yes. right. to do that and not Can pass the chase test. the main story. Then we're also placing a barrel and a fire pit. Oh, the barrel's over here, right? I remember that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. totally. I'm <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well remembered. Sparing a glance for the council chamber, you note that it is smaller and more cluttered than you expected of the illustrious Orthanc. Perhaps these discussions interrupted a different matter Soraman was pursuing. Soraman. <laughs> Two warriors of Gondor are stationed by the far window, their armor flashing in the sun. Place person tokens, same space as the barrel. These are the warriors of Gondor, standing behind their steward. Almost hidden there. in the opposite corner, two of the famed Riders of Rohan stand at attention. Place person tokens as indicated. Those are the Riders of Rohan. Next to the fire is hung an impressive tapestry showing the vast plains of Rohan and the mountainous regions of Gondor. So I'm going to place an You know what we token. forgot to get out? Search tokens and threat tokens. Sure oh. need those. <laughs> <laughs> do you have I do not. them over there? Do you have them over there? I mean, I've got the ones from the box that I unnecessarily opened. <laughs> yeah. Let's just grab those out. Yeah. Ah. Find search tokens as indicated. <laughs> Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. All right. You want to grab those out for me? Sure. Yeah. All right. So it looks like there's one that starts in our space. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right search next to the door we walk Yeah. In. Right by the door? Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> okay. Doesn't. Yeah. And you will need to present your information to the council oh, at 16 oh, no. threat. I died. Right, you did. So we have, with four players... A couple of turns to, yeah. to do that. And our objective is participate in the council. It's also okay. worth noting we have another threat event at eight. Okay. Oh. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, everything is fine. <laughs> this if is going to go great. I tap on it. <laughs> we know that Danathor is expecting a messenger soon. Perhaps they will bring good news that will help the council. Sounds legit. If I know this game, nothing's <laughs> going to go wrong and everything is going to go smoothly. <laughs> So That's how it usually goes for me. Right. It looks yeah. like the chest in our space is in fact sparkling, yeah. which is usually how the app tells us that it's not a normal chest. So if you tap on it, what is it? It tells us the, checks ne the chest next to the doors you entered through is partially opened. And we can search that for an action. I was going to say, Callie's definitely going to, Calamith Took is going <laughs> to open this just chest. Just start rooting around in there. <laughs> yes. <stuff>. <laughs> the important people can handle other things. <laughs> I'm a nosy hobbit. <laughs> when you investigate the chest, the nearby riders of Rohan step forward. We brought these goods as a tribute offering to Saruman. He may be a powerful wizard, but there's nothing finer than the wool from the sheep of Rohan. Their obvious pride in their home warms your heart. 
Hopefully, the offering endears Saruman to Rohan's plight. Gain one inspiration. Yay. And flip a fear face down. I would if I had any. Fantastic. So that All was right. my first action. Before oh, yes. we continue on, oh, yes. there was a question in the chat. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask the question anyways. <laughs> Absolutely. So regarding the battle maps that we have, yes. we've used the same battle maps throughout. Yes. There is no plan to change the battle maps and how they function, is there? Function is a strong okay. word. How uh, they're there, laid out. Yes. There's no plans to change this punch, this this tile mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yep. Yep. I know. I just Aha. wanted to. I wanted to ask. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I I completely understand. Yeah. But we we did find some new ways to use yes. clearly yes. these layouts. Clearly, <laughs> as of right now, this is a battle map tile. Yes. But not really a battle map. Correct. As of this moment. As of this moment. <laughs> it's also only one tile, which I don't think we've done before. We have only rarely, um, okay. like the um, when you fight a look in the base game. Right. Uh, that battle in the cave is a single map. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's it's not often that we need to do a single tile. Right. Um, but you'll see. Yeah. yeah. My We've second. Got act, some tricks. I'm just gonna course. run over here to the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> What you're looking for, Callie? <laughs> <laughs> Food. What else? All right. Well, the two of you go before me and just get away from me so that I have nobody nearby. Go stand with her. <laughs> and I can <laughs> use my... I was going to run over to the perils, but... You, <laughs> you are sheer shield maiden of Rohan. I, and I suppose I should say hi to my dad. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I need to go see uh, my king. Do you really want to, though? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but Probably he's, I'm going to hear about it later right, if I don't. Right. Sure, sure. No, there you go. So I will step over and, hey, Dad, what's up? So you still like me more than my brother, right? <laughs> <laughs> really quickly, we should do this for anybody who has not played this game before. Yes. On our turn, uh, we all get two actions. Correct. Those actions, as of right now, because we're not fighting mm -hmm. anything, are going to be to move, which allows you to t move two spaces, mm -hmm. and to interact. You can interact with... Basically anything. A token in your space. Right. Of and which that all obviously of these includes are tokens. the chests <laughs> and yep, exactly. So so just for anybody who hasn't played the game before, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. When we're moving, we're taking a move action, and now mm -hmm. I'm assuming a second action is gonna be taken to Yeah, so now I'm gonna interact with a token in my space, in this case Danathor. And you have options. I can ask him to tell me of Gondor's struggles or ask him how the council is going. Which would you prefer to do, Boromir? He might be my father, but I don't want to be too overly familiar and just say, hey, what's go how's it going? So I'm going <laughs> to tell me of Gondor's struggles. Maybe you've been away for a while. Asking for a moment of Danather's time allows him the chance to calm down, but he's likely to get just as upset if you press too hard. Test spirit. Okay, how's your spirit, Boromir? My spirit is three. Okay, so that's not shabby. Quite spirit. And then again, for people who have not played the game, with yes. a test, what happens, Grace? When you test, you're told to test one of your stats. Your stats are all numbers. You flip over that number of cards from the top of your deck. You're looking for success symbols. The text on the card doesn't matter during a test. You're just looking for symbols. What symbols did you draw? I got very lucky. I drew two success symbols oh. and a fate. I'm going to cool. spend that inspiration I got for preparing a valor skill. To convert a fate to, to a success. To convert that fate and get three successes on this test. Wow! That seems good. And then all of those cards then go into your discard. The mercenaries are worse this year than we've known in recent memory. We win victory after victory, but they seem to have an endless supply of warriors and weapons. My armies cannot hold our borders forever, and I despair of what would happen if we retreat too much further. We need aid to win back the ground we have lost. Danathor's blunt honesty confirms what you suspected about the mercenaries. But surely Gondor is not alone in these troubles. You and a nearby hero gain one inspiration. So I'm going to get this back. You're all nearby. Who wants it? You should have it. I have one already. You already That's have true. one? That's true. I have oh, one. Oh, everybody's got one. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm trying to be the nice guy. No, this is mine. <laughs> Rising tide lifts all boats. As long as you're okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> Spread it around. Your your friends. <laughs> yeah. Buddies to the end. Okay, did and you I, wish to finish your movement? I am. I'm going to okay. move back to go speak to the your speak to the men. common men, the, yeah. the, the soldiers. I'm one of them. <laughs> the common men. <laughs> <laughs> All 
I like it. All right, so Freyhild. Yeah, on my turn, I do want to talk to my king. Uh, Theoden, he's here, right? Yeah, that's him over there by the table. Theoden, what's up? Your options are, tell me if Rohan struggles, or how is the council going? Ooh, I mean, I feel like I would already know about Rohan's struggles, so I would like We've to We've been on the road for a while. Oh, that's true, <laughs> yeah. Uh, As yeah, we learned I'll in ask, our prologue here. I'll ask about Rohan's struggles then. Oh ho. Asking for a moment of Theoden's time allows him to chance to calm down, but he's likely to get upset if you press too hard. Test your spirit. All right. How's your spirit? I have three on spirit. All so right, same. solid, good. solid. I'll test. Oh, oh Not no. as good a test, though. Not great. No? no. Um, it looks like uh, I can convert to one success. Which All I'm right. Usually better than nothing. Okay. These mercenaries are like ghosts, appearing and disappearing just out of reach of my riders. My people are frightened and turn to me for protection. How can I callously tell them that Gondor will not offer aid to their children? It is unconscionable that such a proud kingdom should turn their backs on us, their closest friends. Theoden's impassioned speech sours Danethor's scowl further, but at least the worries of Gondor stationed at the walls seem not to have heard. Each hero suffers one face-down fear. Ah. Oof. Oof. Theoden, you're Thank a downer. You. Ooh. So, face down. Oh, Anybody mercy. have anything to prevent, want to prevent a face down? I can take it. I have a seven fear threshold. I'm Jeez. fine. I don't, I'm going to get scared of anything. I'm going to need to kick uh, Comrade horse. in Arms back in. Ah, uh, yes, there it's you like go. Uh, for reference, when uh, I have Snowbright, uh, once per round after you or a nearby hero suffers damage or fear, that hero may gain one inspiration. There you go. So, yeah, your horse is standing in the corner. <laughs> Freyhild's actually just riding the horse around. Oh. The horse. <laughs> and if they think that's bad, wait till the bear shows up. <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, you Party guys are so good to me. We'll tap these barrels. Thank you, Thank you all so much for getting away from So me. there you go. I am Bjorn. a bit of a loner. Yeah. And I'm going to now interact. So what is the We've got search a, token by the door? There's a tapestry. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to interact with that token. But... Mm -hmm. Before I interact, there are no nearby heroes, mm -hmm. so I get to scout. Very good. And, okay, so I'm just scouting one, mm -hmm. which, for, for those that haven't picked up, whenever we scout, there will be a number behind it, and we draw that many cards, and then can choose to either prepare the card, mm -hmm. or put it back on top or bottom mm -hmm. of your deck, which, oh, you know, yeah. you needed time of need this last time, but... I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I will prepare it. And then you're searching? Examining this tapestry could give you a better idea of the geographical challenges faced by Rohan and Gondor. Uh, yeah, I should know that. As the guide, I should know. Read a map. The firelight flickers over the fine weavings of the tapestry, almost making the mountains and forests come alive. Test your spirit or your wit. If you have a guide or lore keeper skill prepared, you may add one success. Creature card, not wow. guide or no, lore that's a guide no. card. It's a guide what? card. Oh, you're I'm, a guide. I'm looking at the, I'm that's looking at the top text. My, oh, sure. My I, yes, so guide card. So you may have one success, success and I get to choose either that. spirit or wit, which my spirit is only two, mm -hmm. but my wit is three. So I'll take the three. There you go. Just seems like the right choice. So I do have a success. I could convert to a success. I have two. Fate symbols, only one inspiration. I'll, I'll just do it. I'll go for so the that four. Gets you three. Go for yeah, all three. Yeah, three is solid. Hmm. You're able to trace the natural borders of each kingdom, noting the threats on all sides as well as the vulnerable passes and defensible strongholds. You've heard many stories and songs of these lands, but seeing them all encompassed at once fills you with awe. Become determined and discard this search. Token. So determined. There you go. All filled right. with determination. <laughs> All right, and then yeah, I, get, I get to move. You've already interacted with the mm -hmm. chest, so I can't do anything else with that. You know, I'm not that I'm gonna get cold because I'm <laughs> huge, but I'm still gonna hang out by the fire. So I'll just I'll take a move action, but I'm only moving one of the two spaces. You're brooding in the corner while everyone else talks. <laughs> away You're from that as guy many guy people as possible. <laughs> well, I'm a loner. Come yeah. On. Okay, so that looks like everyone's gone. So that means we end the action phase and go to the shadow phase when the app does stuff, Boop. such as End the action threat. phase. Yes, let's do that. All right. 
The shadows deepen, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that seems like a Two for each hero. Mm -hmm. A messenger from Gondor arrives as you did. Doors opening with no sound and under no obvious command. Oh. <laughs> she bows to the council assembled and proclaims in a clear voice, Mercenary ships have been spotted at Umbar's port, and there are hidden caches of weapons all over the city. Umbar is no longer safe for citizens of Gondor. Great. I thought we were waiting for good news. <laughs> I was sure. Danithor is enraged. You see, the mercenaries are at my very doorstep. They have infiltrated Umbar and plan to bring war to the very roots of the White Tree. This cannot stand. Gondor must have aid. They had in glowers at being commanded so, but can say nothing to distract the conversation from Umbar. We're choosing a hero to test wisdom. So who do we want to speak up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> my wisdom is up. only three, but really, Bjorn Mine's is two. not the one that's speaking up at this point, that's let's be fair. honest. Uh, I'm three, so one yeah. of us should probably speak up. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. Sure, sure, sure. Well, we know you've burned through some non-success cards in your deck, so... That's true. Um, yeah, so go ahead and select Freyhild. Freyhild. Danithor chomps down on a ripe cherry tomato as he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> you answered Danithor, reassuring the steward that Umbar will be dealt with decisively. Test wisdom two. So wisdom we're looking two. for two successes. Okay. Okay. So unlike the other tests mm -hmm. where we're just trying to get as many as we can, we know this one is two. Mm -hmm. Well, the good news is I have an inspiration. So you uh, can pass earlier, that test. And I will pass. Very Sweet. good. Freyhild's words success. are carefully chosen to reassure both rulers that they are not alone in their problems and that a solution will be found. Each hero gains one inspiration. Well, thank you for speaking Well up. said. My dad scares me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure no, that there are the some phase. unique interactions with, the, depending on who decides to speak up at that point. Hmm. Yeah, right. Because we, we were writing act. this uh, very clear Gondor hero and a very clear Rohan hero into this campaign, we looked for opportunities to get specific interactions with people. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so. So each hero resets their deck, so shuffle that okay. discard and scouts two. This is what happens at the end of every round. We go to the rally phase where you shuffle your deck and your discard together if you have a discard or just your deck if you do not have a discard, and then you scout again. Um, remember, Scout is revealing the top cards of your deck, preparing one, and placing on top or bottom with any that remain. And while we're doing this, this is a good time to ask another question from the chat. Um, are there any plans to do just standalone, like, single adventures with the game? I mean, clearly everything that we've done so far has been campaign. Sure. This, this game was developed from the ground up to be a campaign game. Um, all of the expansions we've done have been built that way. Um, in the future, we may do different kinds of expansions. Um, we've talked before about how this is the last big box expansion we have planned, but we have more things in the works. Um, I cannot speak specifically to what we have in the works. I'm sure you understand. Um, but I'm very excited for what we do have, what we're working on. I'm very excited. Sounds good. Yeah. We always err on the side of not keeping promises we aren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much like Denethor. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're into another action phase. So who wants to go first and what do they want to do? I think I'd like to talk to these soldiers. Okie dokie. Do it. They're my comrades. The worries of Gondor are standing proudly by to witness the council. I can ask what they know of the mercenaries or ask their opinion on the council. I'm going to ask them, how is the council doing? <laughs> Give me the lowdown. Give me the gas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of the warriors uses a banner bearing the White Tree of Gondor to shield his conversation with you. Lord Sorry. Danathor is a noble and wise man, but see how Theoden lords it over him. He wears a crown and claims the title of king, all while begging our lands to send him more warriors and supplies. It is galling and begs the question, what if King Theoden likes the taste of status too much? What agreements has he made with the mercenaries plaguing our borders? If the soldiers of Gondor feel as if Rohan is against them, this council has little chance of succeeding. Lore increases by one. Throw in some shade. Mm -hmm. yeah. My goodness. So this, Ouch. The soldiers on this side don't trust the leader on that side. So, question yeah. regarding those soldiers. Are they individual tokens, or did you just speak to both of them? 
Well, would you like to click on well, them and see what's up? If I click on both of them, they sh share of them. Share. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. They function cool. as a unit, though they are individual tokens. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think it makes the most sense to just keep asking questions <laughs> rather than use my other action to move. Tell so, me more. <laughs> what do you know of the mercenaries? The mercenaries are weak, but many. Why are you asking them, us about them now? The warriors size you up, comparing their, your strengths to theirs. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to test might, and you need to get a two. Yeah. And your might is a four. So let's Flex see how embarrassing it. this failure is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do need to spend some inspiration, but I got, I got there. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. So in, in so the cards you drew is one success and mm -hmm. three fate. Mm -hmm. And well, you that currently have... Pesky weakness. Yeah, yeah. You've get a, rid of that. I'm a little a off of, course. You've got a lot of fate. Can I help you out? Uh, does he count as a nearby hero, though? Yes, absolutely. Your space or an adjacent space is nearby. Well, I've got a new card from the Shield Maiden uh, roll. As one, when a nearby hero tests, you may discard the seal to convert all fate to successes. Holy oh, heck, that'll yeah. work. So. All right, so that's going to be four <laughs> of two. I think yeah, we're, we're blowing yeah. it out of the water. And also, I just love the idea of Boromir talking to these guards who somehow like are disrespecting him, and Freya Hilds behind him like, hey. <laughs> Whoa, I brought my hype man. <laughs> Wonderful. I passed that test easily thanks to <laughs> thanks to Freyhild's kinship. You are suitably impressive for the warriors of Gondor, and they begin to elaborate on the problems Gondor is facing with the frequent mercenary attacks. Hmm. Gondor used to control large territories east and south, but have slowly been pushed back over the years. The people of Gondor still tell of the old tales and fear the might of the enemy returning. Families send their children to protect the borders, but very few ever hope to see them return. Gondor needs more warriors to protect the lands they still hold. And perhaps with enough strength, they may even reclaim the lands they lost. Scout 2. Man, war's a bummer. Mm -hmm. I'm going to prep my honed agility, because okay. I'm wearing big heavy armor. Mm -hmm. And if I need yeah. to get out of the way... Not the most <laughs> agile. That was a scout. Yeah. Undying there you goes go. On the, Step cheating. On the bottom of my deck. <laughs> there you go. I don't want it in that deck, though. <laughs> ah, well. So that was both of Boromir's actions. Bjorn, what are you planning to do? I'm going to open the chest, probably. Yeah, you want to try doing that before yeah, anything yeah. else goes I'll on? I'll open up I'll the also chest point before out I move the story along. Let's get the lore. That, is that <laughs> what you're saying? <laughs> the fire is sparkly, meaning it's unique. Oh, so I get to interact the And the table the in the well. center square is also mm -hmm. sparkly because okay. it's unique. Okay. Well, I'll start with the chest. Just yeah, kind of wander around here. and <laughs> Looking around. You may interact the with the chest to search it. Okay, let's do it. You pour over the contents of the chest, papers and tomes from every age wearing out your eyes and mind. Test wisdom, Man. too. I'm looking at maps, I'm read looking a at book, scrolls. Read a book. So my You're wisdom really is three. Committed to this guide thing. And okay, perfect. So I'm gonna have to spend my inspiration to get a second success. I got one success naturally and two fates, so that'll pass. Done. We're cruising. Finally, on. your diligence pays off. Lore increases by four. Yeah. Whoa. Woo! All right. So I do second get action. another action. Yeah. And, you know, just, I'm going to stand on the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a wise decision. Well, the You're fire ignored. crackles cheerfully, but the heat is oppressive in such a small room. Darn it, I'm going to back <laughs> off Maybe of the Maybe you're fire. standing a little close. <laughs> <laughs> you can bank the fire or you can not take an action. And no, leave it alone. do it. Bank the fire. You carefully bank the fire so that its light remains bright, but the heat is much diminished. You see the warriors of Gondor and the riders of Rohan breathe easier at their posts. Each hero gains one inspiration. Thank oh, you. Thank you that. That's much more comfortable All right, so in here. so here it is. Here's, here's the bard. I, I don't think, uh, I mean, I'm breaking <laughs> some rules, but what can I say except... <laughs> I won't finish it. Okay, I won't no finish it. Copyright struck. You were too pitch perfect. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right. So after Bjorn is playing with the fire and Boromir's talking with the warriors, uh, Callie would like to... Look at these barrels. Barrels. What's in here? There's a stack of barrels in the corner of the room. The wager contain the wine that Danathor and Theoden are drinking. Yeah. Mm. Would you like to search the uh, Yes, thank you. <laughs> I found Why one did I even ask? <laughs> <laughs> when you investigate the barrels, the nearby warriors of Gondor step forward. We brought these casks as, as a tribute offering to Saruman. Even great and powerful men sway to the sweetness of Gondorian wine. Mm. 
Their cheerful words give you confidence. Discard up to two face down fear. Oh, hey, well, hey, thank you. Let's have a little tip. Yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, and then I'll just I'll pop over into the other space um, with uh, yeah no? the right. the writers from Rohan. I don't believe anyone's talked to them yet. Whoop. Don't stand or on Saruman, don't stand I suppose, on like but I don't want to talk to Saruman, he intimidates me. We can ask him the, the same questions, but you know how wizards are. Uh, yeah. I will also say I that no Callie has some Hobbit sense, um, okay. which is a new card in her deck. So at the end of my turn, since there are no nearby enemies, mm. I get to scout. Well, how close are you to Saruman? <laughs> <laughs> No nearby enemies. <laughs> it doesn't say anything about frenemies. <laughs> okay, okay. As of right now, we're Thank in the clear. Thank you. And that stays prepared. I don't need to discard that. Nice. Wonderful. Nice. Wonderful. So that's the end of my turn. I think I want to come back over here and talk to King Theoden again. Yeah, follow me. Where's the party at? All right. <laughs> Go back over here. And then... I think that there was something else I could say to Theoden. You can ask Theoden, how is the council going? Yeah, I'll just sidle up. You know, how's the council going, Theoden? Anything cool here? You need, so, you need, you need anything, boss? Or <laughs> Theoden is eager to share with you his worries about the council after your helpful participation. When I received invitation to this council from Lord Danathor, I thought Rohan's trials were soon to be ended by a mutual alliance brokered through Saruman. But neither will listen to me when I tell them of how my people suffer. They only wish me to be subservient to their rule, and I will not have it. I fear that without more proof that the mercenaries are a threat to Rohan, this council will fail. Choose one hero to gain a boon. Ooh. So that can be hidden, emboldened, or determined. Let's not do emboldened. Yeah, we don't really need to do cracks <laughs> just, heads just yet. Just saying. Right. So who would you like to choose? Um, I'm thinking I want to see Boromir actually become uh, determined. Or does not hide. Daddy might want to hide. I am so <laughs> pleased with this team that has grown up between Rohan and, and Gondor. Yeah, yeah we're trying Best to friends. Nice. Yeah. So, really quick side note mm -hmm. before we continue reading. So, there was a question about lore. Mm -hmm. So, lore is basically your. Ex I guess it's not experience because there's experience right. as well, but lore helps you upgrade your gear and equipment yeah. between so if we look adventures. At one of your, one so, of your item cards. Yeah, let's just put out the battle axe. Mm -hmm. You can see so, that lore value at the bottom. Yep. So there is a number right down here at the bottom. I think 33. Is that what uh -huh. that is? Yep. And so, so once we have 33 lore, mm -hmm. I will be given the option between adventures to be able to upgrade that to the next tier or right. the Correct. options between the next tier. Cause, Correct. Yeah. So lore is collectively gained and never spent. You just hit those next tiers um, throughout the campaign. You get better and you kind of learn more about the weapons that you're wielding. Uh, you reveal that maybe you're wielding Sting or maybe, right, yeah. Right. So it's pretty cool. Yep. And then another quick side note or quick question because lore came up and chests are tied to lore right now. Absolutely. With this expansion, yeah. if I were to go back and play any of the old mm -hmm. adventures or campaigns, would mm -hmm. chests then start to appear? Yes. So uh, the terrain on battle maps um, is by and large not procedurally generated. So the terrain will be used less often than other components in this expansion. But there are definitely places in every campaign where we use procedurally generated terrain on battle maps, and chess can show up as one of those options once you have the expansion enabled. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Yeah. So we've chosen one here to gain a boon. There we go. You have another point of movement if you want to keep walking. I do right. think I would, uh, yeah, I think I would walk over here and just stand across from Saruman. <laughs> keep an eye on him. Let's surround him. Lock eyes. <laughs> Very good. That's all of us, right? I yep, believe we've all, all gone. We are ending the action phase. Okay, Looks like something's gonna happen. The shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by another eight. Again, that's just two per player. It's pretty predictable on a battle map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The time has come, and you know that you must seize your chance to address the council at large. Beorn respectfully coughs to draw attention. and begins <coughs> to report your group's encounter with a mercenary ambush not far from here. Honorable lords, I bring a warning. 
These mercenaries are not common sellswords. I fought with them not too far from here. Ellipsis. <laughs> Set this battle map aside. Leave all tokens in their positions and place a new battle map as indicated. What? 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 We had been traveling through Gondor and Rohan for some weeks, and everywhere we went there were burned villages, raided towns, and refugees on the roads, the work of mercenary raiders. That morning we arrived in a small hamlet on the plains of Rohan, and my heart sank to find it abandoned with debris scattered in the road. We assumed that the mercenaries had attacked here too, and recently. However, we were soon to learn that the mercenaries were not yet gone from that place, the place of the heroes, as indicated. Flashback are we time! A flashback? We are! What? Yes! This is the twist that I all did right. not want to spoil all for right. you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Instead, we're spoiling for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Place the following terrain one chest, one barrel, one fountain, and two statues. Fountain? That one's a big one. Yeah, yeah it's another new good. one. I'll find that card so we can toss that in the. Fountain? What does the fountain do? All right. So we've got a fountain. Boop. So if you would suffer fear Boop. while in a space with a fountain, that fear is suffered face down. Great. Uh, if you do test to negate damage or fear while in a space with a fountain, you can reveal an additional card. Fountains make you happy. Yeah. You can take cover I mean, behind it. it. The water is refreshing. Up, but <laughs> the sound is soothing. <laughs> All right. Fountains are cool. I yeah. like fountains. And the statues, of course, we. Yep. We base know game. From barrels. Base game. Yep. Um, Push statues, crush things. Yes, and none of these terrain pieces are unique to the series. Mm -hmm. So they all they all work as as advertised on the package. No sparkles. No sparkles. The village center is deserted, but its fountain still burbles cheerfully. Oh no! A cold voice breaks through your reverie. <laughs> we were told there were people on our trail. It took you long enough to catch up, but we didn't mind waiting. Prepare for death, unfortunate travelers. Place one soldier, as indicated. Cross from us. Soldier. This is the mercenary assassin. So soldier is a new enemy type added in spreading war. So. Yep, yep, yep. Spear. Got a nice spear okay. going on, and we need the elite banner. Yes, this is the and elite oh, banner. Did you guys? Yes. Oh, you have the banners out? <laughs> <laughs> there they are. You still have them. Yeah. I have them. I'm gonna give Fantastic. them. Fantastic. <laughs> no worries. That's the. Oh yeah! Which Wonderful. Kind of, kind of tower shield one. one. Okay. Place one ruffian in the same space. Another also an elite. Hero. He's got the painted the fist. there. So we're using the like personal development copy that I used to make the game, and so some things are painted um, more or less uh, board game quality. They were my first <laughs> attempts. <laughs> For a first go, these are really nice. I, yeah. I, the, that wash turned out really well to give them some good depth. Yeah. And then two soldiers, also elites. They need the Jeez. eye banner yeah. and the other right. statue space. Yeah. We've been and pushed. two <laughs> regular soldiers in that space. Okay. <laughs> they don't get two a banner. More soldiers. Left out. That's so uh, sad. They just joined the crew. They're not as strong as they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's uh, what we're going to be doing. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> one more elite soldier. Oh. Yeah, I, sure. And it's in our space? Line. Yep. Okay. Just Can I be a bear now? <laughs> Can I please be a bear now? Where's your card? I haven't drawn <laughs> it yet, and I'm already maxed out. I'm going to have to discard something. The mercenaries closest to you attack with great haste. They sucker punched us. Each hero suffers two damage and one fear. Agility negates. Oof. Okay. Glad Maybe I have that honed agility ready to go. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. I'm not a bear right now. And I get a free... Success when I test and negate damage. So thanks to my honed agility and my armor, I'm good. So when we're testing to negate, each success that we generate Two, blocks one. either a damage or fear that we're suffering. Um, so we're looking to block everything to get three successes, but if we get less, then we choose what we suffer. So it looks like I have gotten three successes. Well done. All right. I will have to spend my inspiration to get two. And because I already have a fear and I'm a 6-6, six, six, I'll just take a damage. Okay. So, that's, so that's face up. One face up, so I'm entangled. Oof. 
Oh, man. How does the guy <laughs> not get to move very far? It's a All battle right. map. You don't need to. <laughs> I drew two fate, and I will spend one inspiration using my padded armor to convert that to uh, two successes. I love it. Nice. So, Give me a damage, please. Oh, thank you. So now that we are on a battle map with enemies, I've discarded my Hobbit sense, which will no longer trigger at the end of my turn, to hide and be hidden. Because you can do that after a test? After a test. Okay. And we were asked to show off Grace's artistic ability. Sure, choose <laughs> anyone. So, <laughs> we'll just start with this one. Obviously, bases are, are not done. No, so yeah. Don't, don't judge. <laughs> All right, doesn't it? But yeah. What's that? Oh, well, I don't have it over here. Oh, what? <laughs> the, yeah, I mean, you painted a much bigger. Oh, mini. I did. You want to show off my Balrog? Luckily, he's not showing up in a small village in Rohan. <laughs> <laughs> not today. That would be a bad time. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ten times better than anything I could put out there. So, well. It turns sorry. out I really like that. I should that say a hundred times better to give her the credit that it's due. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It is useless to regret lowering your guard now, and you find yourself almost grateful that you have had the chance to face these mercenaries head-on at last. You know that if you're able to defeat every single one of your ambushes, you may be able to glean more information on the growing mercenary threat. Objective updated, defeat the mercenary raiders. A, this is what we call a target-rich environment. Mm -hmm. You will need to present your information to the council at 40 threat. We're at 16 now. Oh, we've got time. Rally nice. phase. Alright. So reset your deck and scout two. So does this uh <laughs> only two sate your hunger for a battle map? <laughs> <laughs> this puts the battle in battle map. It does. <laughs> Alright, so um everybody but me is gonna scout two. Well, what I get do? to reveal an additional card when oh. I scout because I did prepare the way forward. And after I scout, does that include now? Yeah. It does, yeah. So after I scout, this card is amazing because it just has two <laughs> abilities that live as long as the card is active, right? Mm hmm No, I do have to discard it for somebody to move a space. So I'm you can gonna... choose. Okay. Um, I mean, do we really need to move right now? <laughs> Boromir could do well with four enemies. It'll be fine. Either way, I'm going to scout to reveal an extra card. And if you Jeez. really like what you get, that dog is helpful. True. But I know what you're doing. You know what's going on. <laughs> bear time, bear time. <laughs> I mean, there is only one option. <laughs> Goodbye, time of need. All right. So, so when you prepare, you need. are limited to four cards prepared at any one time. If you ever have more than that, like uh, Josh just did with preparing a fifth card, you discard down. Yep. And now I get to choose what to do with my others. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't have any inspiration. But I am transforming into a bear. Woo! Oh, bear <laughs> so when Bjorn transforms, you replace his figure with the great bear figure. You replace his hero card with the great bear card. And you replace all of his equipment with the hoary coat and uh, rending claws equipment items that only Bjorn can use. I just clipped only the my great nails, but I really want to get into claw mode. <laughs> and <laughs> just, just to clarify, Josh has these cards sleeved together mm -hmm. for, right. for his ease of use, but they are separate cards, so you can do what works for you as in terms of yep, set aside smooth interaction. Or, yeah, flip. So <laughs> you want to show off one of those on the, the cam? <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> so we'll start with the Rending Claws. Mm -hmm. So Rending Claws use my Might, which, as I think I discussed before, is a five. <laughs> I'm going to run out of cards real fast like. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So yeah, with one success, I can do three hits. Or with a success, well, and, depending on how many successes I get, I can get two hits and Sunder, which is spectacular. Mm -hmm. Or if I get two successes... I can just go with five hits, because mm -hmm. why not deal a bunch of damage? And when I attack, I can discard a prepared card to add an additional two hits. Mm -hmm. And I have You've been a lot of them prepared up. cards. Yep. Basically just give Strike to all your stuff. Yeah. Right. With, I mean, obviously doesn't interact with other things that care, like Strike, like my, sure. mm -hmm. like my love of war and valor. <laughs> <laughs> cares about Strike, but... But you'll also notice, as we talked before about lore, the Rending Claws 
uh, do not have a lore value. They do not upgrade. Bjorn will all, or the great bear form of Bjorn will always just have these rending claws. Just. <laughs> just. Yes, as long as you're happy. Only. So happy. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, did you want to bump somebody a space with your way forward? I now mean, that, now that you've scouted. So, if I need we, to confirm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I think I've been playing it wrong for oh, a long time. Oh, really? Am I near by myself? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> and that's, that's where I needed to clarify, because a lot of times another nearby sure. is what I'm used to reading. So I am sure. not nearby. Does, does somebody want to move? Let's I mean, start with that. I'd be more than happy to dive in on that space that has four soldiers. I don't know if... I'll let you have it. If wants to lead the charge. By all means, but, Boromir. I mean, run in there, blow the horn, we'll follow. I'm pretty sure you're going right. to have to provoke an attack, though. This is a move, yeah. Yep. So, uh, when you leave a space with a readied enemy, not an exhausted enemy, uh, you will have to provoke an attack using the app by clicking that red eye and then... And oh, yeah, is... we got to start the action phase. Yeah. So, this <laughs> is the... This one. Yeah, so click so, that red eye and then click that. Selected enemy to provoke. There you go. The soldiers drilled hours upon hours with their weapon, and their smooth mov movements leave no opening for escape. So this is going to be two damage. After this attack, if another enemy group is nearby, become captured. That oh. is terrible. Uh, maybe don't do that. <laughs> but there's no way to Too avoid Too late. It in this I did. Way. Yep. Wow. So wisdom. So the good news is I take no damage. Good. But. And now you're in this other space, and now you become captured, right? If another enemy group is nearby. Which they are. There's too many of these fellers. So captured is one of the new banes introduced in spreading war. It is a negative condition, much like boons are a positive condition. And captured is special in that it has two sides. When you try to escape being captured, captured removes your figure from the map. Uh, you spend an action, flip the card, and resolve the back of the card and see if you actually do escape. And if not, do you just flip the card back over and have to take that action again? Spoiler alert, you will gain a different copy of Captured. Oh, yep. interesting. So you can shuffle through okay. a different bunch of different effects. Right, yep. right. Mm -hmm. So you're not just always hitting your lowest yep. stat, yeah. basically. Yeah, that'd be a real bummer. Yeah. Okay. So, unfortunately, we've lost Boromir. <laughs> <laughs> I try to. Should have gone in first. They just jump all over me and <laughs> throw me in a bag. Uh, who would like to go first, and what would they like to do? Bjorn, I think that you should unleash yourself on those soldiers. So I kind of want to prepare the way for you, so you don't get captured too, <laughs> uh, and attack. And this one is elite, so you can provoke from yeah. him multiple times. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> well, so. I'll yeah. go first and I'll go attack. right ahead, Freyhild. So I'm going to use my spear, which uses the spirit stat. Mm -hmm. You want to pop that up on the cam for us? Sure it's thing. a new two-handed item that tests spirit. So I'm going to use my spirit of three to do an attack. I have one, two, uh, and then I think I'll spend an inspiration to make this seven hits and pierce. Ooh! Seems good. So close. Is so that, oh, close! Oh, it's not there. Uh, not quite. However, I have strike two. Yeah! yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> so that, we'll apply that hit. This Very soldier good. was large, so he had extra health. Yep. Uh, okay. Beefy. So Remove one soldier. You or a nearby hero gains one inspiration. I'll take that back if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll take that back. Make sure you're not empty. Oh, I meant on the cam, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. I like <laughs> With the mini on the cam. Yeah. Yeah, we've There is a these mini before. on the cam. And there was another question. So, yes. mini on the cam. Next to Bjorn on the cam. So, <laughs> he is hunched over, so he doesn't mm -hmm. look a ton taller, mm -hmm. but big old bear. <laughs> big old bear. Oh, and as a reminder for anybody who was paying attention at the beginning, we did choose normal mode. Yes. For the campaign. Not but hard, not it adventure. It still has adventure and it still has the hard mode. Yes. <laughs> I still have not and probably will not for some time attempt. <laughs> That's fair. Everyone chooses the way that yeah. they have fun most. And I love making this game so that people can have fun. So that is what I do. Thank you. Yeah. So much. 
right, so that Fraser, was only... That was your first action. It was. Um, before I take my second action, I'm going to discard one of my cards as Freya Hild called Gift of Men. Mm -hmm. During my turn, I may discard the skill to discard one fear. Yep. All right. I'm going to so discard that. Canny fans and will recognize that. A lot of humans have Gift of Men. Uh, Freya Hild is a human and is better with fear. Ooh. Okay. And that doesn't down have to be a face it. down fear. It's just fear, period. Correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I will go and move into, I'll go move into the fray just in case. Um, Here? Over. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So then it's you and me, Bear. Well, I still get my turn. I just. Yes, that's fair. <laughs> that's, do you, do no. you want to show yeah. people how to attempt to get out? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. The captured status. So there's a unique action on this card to attempt to escape with this bank. The same action icon you see in the app. So mm -hmm. we'll put it up on screen once we finish resolving this. Oh, oh. We can put another oh, one yeah, up there. oh you fools! Yes. You try to escape capture with strength and stamina. Yeah. <laughs> Test might. And how many successes Again, are we looking at? This will be very embarrassing if I fail. I'm testing might two. Okay. Yeah. How many inspiration are you at? Three. Yeah. yeah I got I'd three inspiration. I, you determined. I do have to burn two of them. Oof. Oof. But that's okay. Got it. Now I'll say, hang on to determined. Now I know I have it's lots of success. It's that question of like, do I spend it? Do I not? Mm -hmm. yep. I think I would rather reveal a bunch of fresh cards when I'm Heck yeah. Yeah. thumping some skulls. And for those that don't know, determined allows you to discard and redraw the number of cards you discarded. Correct. So. Yep, from the test. Yep. Yep. If you pass, your captors are brutal but too weak to stop your escape. So for one face down damage. Mm. That's nothing mm -hmm. for more. <laughs> Then place your figure in any explored space and discard this bane. No. Oh. So the, sneaky, the sneaky enemy surprise. was uh, foolish in trying to capture <laughs> Boromir. Boromir's too strong, pops up right where they want him least. Good. So then what are you going to do in your turn with your second I'm going to say hello to a mercenary assassin. Okay. okay. <laughs> who has six health, one sorcery, and one armor, and the swift death modifier. Oh. They deal additional damage and fear and are more mobile than other enemies. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Man, mercenaries who are having sorcery this early in the campaign? I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm not worried about it. Does not bode ill for the enemy we're truly facing. Okay. So I've got three successes, so I can do seven hits. With both Seems the one good. and two success lines on the sword. Yeah. And I'm also going to use my love of war and valor after you strike with this skill. So to strike two. After I strike with this skill, you and each hero with a prepared tactic skill may scout two. I'm going to discard comrade in arms instead. Because nice. it, anytime you would discard a tactic skill, you can discard that. So I can mm. use the strike on love of war and valor, but not discard it. Seems mm. good. Cool. And scout two. Soldier combos. <laughs> Ah, so Phil has been the first one to run through their, his entire deck on your turn. When you do that, you just shuffle and keep drawing. So my scout two. Very exciting. I love that we hit that combo. I'll prepare yeah. some ancient wisdom just in case. I imagine it. the scene was like they had Boromir in like Tougher. a large burlap sack and then <laughs> yeah. he just tears out. And yeah, they, starts they drag me over to their boss. <sighs> Hello! <laughs> Sword delivery! <Yeah. laughs> At least take the guy's weapons. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you try to wrestle a sword away from Boromir. <laughs> See how yeah, that works. Fair. Remove that mercenary assassin. Yes. Okay. You are a nearby hero, gains one inspiration. I am all, all out, so I'm going to give it, for it to yourself. myself. Sorry, folks. Treat yourself. Mm -hmm. Please, no. That's my two actions. <laughs> I mean, I was going to move an attack anyway, so they're, they didn't even slow me down. Right. <laughs> you expect the mercenary assassin to have final words after your mighty blow, but you get no more information from that cold voice. Whoever sent these mercenaries to kill you, they take care of their allies' fear, revealing more than death itself. They take care of that their allies' fear, revealing them more than death itself. There Let's you put go. the pauses in the right place. <laughs> Lore increases by two. We right. learned things. So I tried to take him alive, but hmm. nope. Okay. He, he wasn't talking. Okay, so now really, it's you and me, Bear. Roar. Yeah, go right Roar. ahead. <laughs> Just over the barrels, right at those two. 
Oh man, it does really look like you're chomping that soldier's <laughs> face. Rage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to attack. So I did have to move, so I only get one attack. I have a might of five. I am not inspired, which makes me really sad right now, but that's okay. All right, so that, I mean, I'll Ooh. still take three. <laughs> so with my rending claws and my three, I'll take the two. Oh, uh, actually, what's their, what's their threshold? They have, they each have six health and two armor. Six, two. So I want to deal at least eight. So I'll just do, I'll do my five damage and then I'll do my three damage for the eight. Okay. Very good. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm okay. not going to discard a card just to hit into armor that's going to come right back. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Crunch. That's me. You do Very a launch on that guy. So now one soul goes away. Can the enemy attack? They yes. can indeed. So They're in that attack. bear's face. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Your foe attacks with discipline and battle fury in equal measure. Their deadly blade tracing a web of steel around you. Test wit to negate. Okay. When you test and negate, if you have a tactic prepared, I do not add one. Okay. So because soldiers uh, are an added enemy as well as an added role, we tended to flavor them similarly. Um, we liked that both of them played with tactics and um, could give the soldier a benefit mm -hmm. when combating with enemy soldiers. Yep. Okay. They're dangerous in groups. So I got nothing. Okay. So I'm going to take two damage. Uh huh. That comes in face down because mm -hmm. I'm bear. <laughs> Snowbright lets out a helpful <laughs> Winnie and uh, gives you an inspiration. Aw, thanks, Snowbright. Could have used Very that. Very good. Could have used that before my attack, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll have him in the next um, one. But I do get to prepare, so after I suffer any amount of damage or fear, I can prepare one skill from my discard pile. Ooh. Because I have a big, big furry Because the bear train keeps on rolling. Very good. Thank you. What you gonna get? Hmm. I don't know. I might be friendly with some bees. <laughs> the way forward would let somebody move, but I'm not gonna scout to get you into the fight mm -hmm. without you having to spin an action yet. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be a bees friend. Yeah. So I have friend of bees. So before I strike with this card, which is with a strike one. Oh yeah. It is just with any card before I strike, which this card allows me to do it. I can add stun to my attack, which sure. would have been really nice to get them to not counterattack. But sure. I, hmm. You want to pop it up on the camp? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might as well. Got to give the, the people what they want. <laughs> Content. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like it's the hobbit's turn to shine. Yeah. 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 Hit them with that turkey leg. Yeah. Do we want to hit the... Uh, soldiers that haven't gone, do we want to hit the elite soldier that is exhausted? Do we want to hit this one that's a ruffian? What's the plan, friends? Do you want to be crafty I mean, with those barrels? Ooh. There are two, I would say, fairly strong mm -hmm. individuals ready mm -hmm. to take on that mm -hmm. group. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. Okay, sure. You can stay there. I am going to go ahead with these barrels. Phil makes a very good point. Be the hobbit. Yep. <laughs> we give you these toys friends. to play with on the battle. <laughs> you may interact with the barrels to loose them at a nearby enemy. This does that not provoke attacks. like a good idea. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Knock them barrels over. The barrels are stacked high, filled with something that sloshes. Test wisdom, too. Calman's wisdom is only two. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. There you go. <laughs> Oh, uh, two successes. Two yeah, well successes. Done. Perfect. So the stack collapses, sending barrels rolling everywhere. Apply four hits and stun to a nearby enemy, then discard the barrels. So go ahead and close out of that message box. And yeah, the one that has not gone. Yep. Smart. So as Freya Hild uses her shield oh. to didn't vault take one out over they the barrels rolling that direction. <laughs> but they won't be attacking this turn. Sweet. <laughs> And uh, for my second action, Boromir, we're going to be buddies. I feel like you may need some help in the near future. And I'm you not worried about it. you get captured one time, you never <laughs> live it down. <laughs> so yeah, that's all of us have gone. All right. All right. And only the ruffian's going to attack because mm -hmm. the, the remaining soldiers, one group is stunned and the other group already attacked with their counter. Yep. So they're both exhausted. Yep. So we're ending the action phase. 
The ruffian wants to move two to attack Boromir. They're right there. <laughs> they don't have to move. No, <laughs> they've got a the candy burlap sack. Right? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> These jokers never learn. Your foe's curved blades glint with the promise of your demise. Might negates two damage. Yep. <laughs> oh. I'm You'll wearing all this armor. Be all right. I'm yeah. real strong. Nah, we're yeah. not going to be all right. No, <laughs> armor. Oh, your armor, that's I'm right. Good. Plate armor. Didn't even uh. need any more. Very good. That's the perfect draw. As exactly as many successes as you need. Nothing extra. Oh, it always <laughs> hurts when I waste success. So I'm going to show this card again. Yeah, go ahead. And I'm going to ask a question on it. Absolutely. So when an attack would deal damage and fear, mm -hmm. does that also count? Or is it just for damage? It's any time you would suffer damage. If you so, are negating okay. damage. Yep. Yep. It then counts. you add that success. Okay. If yeah. you have, for instance, like a white or a fell beast oh. enemy who's only dealing fear, that's when you're in some trouble. Right. Yeah. Right. Of course, especially mm. with a threshold of three. <laughs> I don't get along great. With lots those. of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But his scimitar clinks off my armor, and I just kind of get yeah. ready to. So that threat is increasing again. Threat increases by eight. We rock it up to twenty-four. The brutal mercenaries never retreat, pressing you to the very limits of your endurance. Each hero tests might two. If you fail, discard a prepared card. Oh no. Okay, mm. I'm gonna have to shuffle now. Ooh. Oh well. I got two successes. That'll work. Yep. I'm uh, gonna discard a prepared card. Yep. It's not too bad. I'm going to get rid of a prepared card as well. I'm not going to spend my inspiration. Okay. Yeah, I want to remain inspired. And the rally phase. Uh, rally Fantastic. Up. I'm enemies are ready. Ready for this new perfect. round. Oh, there's a lot that can be done. I think, I think we could win. <laughs> and remember, if you can get some tactics out. Oh yeah, you're right. I, my soldier self likes doing, likes giving you bonuses. Good to know. Yeah, I don't think these mercenaries oh, understood boy. who they were messing with. I'm happy to not have these cards on top of my deck, but I sure don't want them. <laughs> um, so there was a question in the chat again mm -hmm. while we're doing this. Seems mm -hmm. like a good time to talk. Um, somebody was asking how well the soldier combos with the captain. <laughs> uh, as one might expect, they get along like a house on fire. They uh, combo very well together. Captains um, notoriously have a lot of really good tactic cards. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you perhaps want to do two roles at the same time, choosing to be a captain and a soldier is often a very mm -hmm. good choice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Having big thoughts? Yes. Having bear thoughts? <laughs> I probably don't need it, but I kind of want it. I'll, I'll prep it because it's a success. I just drew both of my The Way Forwards. Ah, uh, yes. And it just sounded fun for scouting, but I'm not going to be interacting much. And that's, that's when I get my bonus scout. So yep. never mind. I'd rather move You're people. a bear. It's really just great when you need things. that setup turn to have yep. the, the, right. the big scout turn. Yep. And then there was one more question before we get started with uh -huh. the round. The icon in the bottom corner of these cards, that is just showing that is from... Yes, so that's Spreading the expansion more. icon. Yep. Um, when your collection grows with a ton of new roles and heroes and everything, we want to make sure you still know what everything came from mm -hmm. if you ever need to enable or disable the collection in your app to be able to find those cards quickly. Yep, and what is it? Um, they said it looks like a key. It's not a key. I believe it's a mace. Okay. Like a, okay. a, yep. a yep. bonk and a mace. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's Calamon's mace. Maybe it's somebody else's mace. <laughs> Who could we be fighting? Ooh. I don't know. Because I don't want to know. <laughs> yes, playing through the campaign will reveal your ultimate enemy, which is a very exciting secret. So, uh, who would like to do gratuitous violence? Yeah! Did someone say gratuitous I mean, violence? Can't the answer just be yes? Like, we all want to. Let's just. You're let's already go. there. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Do let's it. go. Do it. <laughs> well, I'll lead the charge right here. Oh. Uh -huh. You don't have the horn, but. 
Uh, Snow Bright to me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're attacking the elite or the oh, rank I'm so and file? sorry. Yes, uh, I'm going to be attacking the uh, lesser soldiers. Da -da -da. I'm currently chewing on the other one's face. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> All right. They each have one armor. One of them's at three health. The others at six. Oh no! I uh, I was hoping I wouldn't reveal any successes. Um, uh, yes. Uh, Planning to use time of need is always a tricky business because <laughs> yes, it, it only is. works if you reveal zero successes. Yeah, when it works. I know <laughs> Gandalf loves it. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert uh, one of my fate to a success and do four hits pierce. Very good. For okay. this, um, four and pierce. Pierce we'll ignores all armor. And then so that'll do four hits and pierce. And what I trigger call to glory right now or would I do it after I take the attack? What does it say? After you test, you may discard the skill to gain inspiration equal to your test result. So that is right now, right after you test. Okay. Once wow. you put in the results, you know the result that you have gained. So I'll get two inspiration Sweet. back. Very good. Go ahead and apply those hits. Okay. So one of them. I love that art too. Yeah. yeah. Is that sprint as well on the bottom? Yeah. Did it's you good. use it? Okay. <laughs> nice. Remove one soldier. The cards that have successes on them, we like to make sure there's a way for you to discard them on demand. Mm -hmm. Get them back so in the deck you're not quickly. Stuck. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I assume I'm going to get stabbed. Yeah. It Can looks like, attack? yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Your foe attacks with Discipline and Battle Fury. Their deadly blade tracing a web of steel around you. Test Wit to negate two damage. If you have a tactic, add one success. I don't. So I'll test wit. Ooh, I have I three. Soldier training. <laughs> How much two damage did they do? Two damage. You know, I don't want to take that much damage, so I'm going to discard it. Time uh, of there you go. There you go. There That's the perfect it use for it. Hey, I used mm -hmm. it. I'll negate that. Good job. So that was your first action. You got another action. They're not elite, so they won't counter attack again. I'm going to attack them again. <laughs> so uh, you're a great influence, Josh. <laughs> bear, bear, bear. Oh, yeah. bear, 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 bear. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm excited to sing now as a bear. Aww. Oh yeah. Musician oh, Bjorn. Bears, we talked about. about this a little before the stream. <laughs> Musician Bjorn is actually really fun. <laughs> So yeah, what are we doing for a second attack? So I'm going to attack again using spirit with my spear. Um, I'm going to reveal three cards. Oh Ooh, no! Man, where Ooh. are your successes? But I'm going to spend two inspiration again to make that Very four good. hits and pierce. Almost. Do you have any strike? Oh, oh, no. Any tricks right. up your sleeve? Oh. That's okay. Ouch. Oh well. Still. No counterattack back. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to worry about that enemy for the turn. And yep. Uh, there is an angry bear in his face, so, you know. Boromir, yeah. would you mind if I went first? Sure. Okay. Fantastic. Um, Kalamanth Took would like to, uh, first of all, uh, bonk this ruffian <laughs> with a mace. Bonk. bonk. He is large and armored. <laughs> so he's got seven right, health and so one armor. Mace. So the Ooh. mace test might. Calamanth is a surprisingly mighty hobbit with three strength, three, wow. three might. Uh, and for two successes, <laughs> I can do <laughs> the top and bottom lines uh -huh. um, for, I believe, what? Two hits. Two hits and stun. And stun. Just a little bonk. Spectacular stun just built right in. That so No wonderful. hits, but wonderful. stun when you need it. Thank you, thank you. My so headcanon is that she's wielding a rolling pin, actually. Oh, uh, rolling pin, yeah. turkey leg. I've heard lots Ooh. of different things. So this elite enemy is stunned, so yep. won't attack, but Fantastic. can still counterattack because he's an elite. Or if, if yes. you don't also yeah, yeah, stun yeah, yeah. on that attack. If they're exhausted, usually they don't counterattack, like we just saw with those soldiers. But if they're elite, they can, unless I continue stunning them, <laughs> um, which I'm not going to at this time. I'm going to use the... Um, statue here. Also fun. Nice. You may interact with a statue to topple it on an enemy in your space. I shall indeed. Topple the statue. It's made of heavy stone. Test might two. Okay, let's do that three test again. Oh, this is why I saved my uh -huh. inspiration. So we have two successes. That'll work. Apply four hits and sunder to an enemy in your space, then discard the statue. Yeah. Hit him with a club and then pushed a statue on his head. Yeah, so got rid of that armor for you. 
Oh, I, easy, easy pickings for somebody with a sword. It's got two health and no armor. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really talked uh, a lot. No. The enemy cannot attack mm -hmm. because you used a statue. A statue. Right. right. And uh, that's it for Callie, other than I'm going to sing a little drinking ditty for you Woo. and feel better, Boromir. Um, each nearby hero may discard one damage at, or one fear. Each nearby hero, that's all of us. Yep. Wow. One so, damage face down, face up. Any kind of damage or any kind of fear. Yep. Okay. All right. We're Good all going to sing a song and drink about it. We had some wine. It's going to be great. <laughs> So, uh, Boromir, would you like to take advantage of this guy yeah. I softened up for it you? It was nice of you to leave him in my space, too, so yeah. I can blow, the, blow my horn at him. Burp, 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 burp. And then, um, <laughs> well, I got this sword. He's got that torso. <laughs> Match made Let's in make some introductions. <laughs> so the it's sword like test might, yeah. Sword test might, as we've covered, Boromir is mighty. Nice. Let's just. I love let's when you don't it. have to spend yeah. for it. There's I mean, nothing. I'm still going to hit him five times because <laughs> I can. Yeah. I always do that. I don't know if you guys do, but if, if yeah. I don't need to add any of the bonuses, yeah. if I don't need to overkill, I still always add every uh, single yes. hit. Yeah. It right? feels good. Right. I'm supposed to tell the app how many exactly. times I'm hitting. Exactly. If they have three health, I hit them you eight You can times. take that inspiration because oh, you're, well, you're all tucked you. out. That's gentlemanly of you. And she just gave you a drink, so <laughs> it's only fair. All right. I'm going to... Walk over to this chest. Seems good. You, okay. You folks have that tank. Yes, our wonderful bear is yet to go. Tell us, bear, <laughs> what do you do? I think <laughs> I can guess. <laughs> I bet I know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Six health and two. How much? It's got six and two. Mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, your claws can be pretty good with this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so that puts me right at eight. I can math. It's fine. Everything's fine. Very good. That'll do. That'll do, Bear. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Remove one soldier. You are a nearby hero. Gains one inspiration. Sorry, Very take good. it back. No, no. Yeah, never oh. leave yourself. Very good. All empty. And then what would you like to do with your second action? <laughs> He's got one health and one armor. <laughs> That's what I felt. Well, I gotta spend it. So, spend it for three hits. All right. Four Pretty good. That's enough. Yeah. Either one. I don't care. I don't care. You That's do it. That's enough. You... Remove one soldier. You're a nearby hero. Gains one inspiration. And oh, that was thanks. the last action oh. of this round. And we've cleared the map. Let's end that round and see what happens. Shadow face. Shadow, shadow. The last of the mercenary ambushers falls before your assault, and finally you have a chance to catch your breath. Searching the area and your fallen foes, you find evidence that these warriors traveled great distances to reach Rohan. Opportunistic soldiers would not have traveled half so far unless they were organized and supplied by a powerful foe. Now that your suspicions have been confirmed that the mercenary attacks on Gondor and Rohan are linked through a hidden foe, you must inform Lord Danathor and King of Theoden. Each hero gains one inspiration. Threat uh -huh. increases by eight. Very good. So it's going to catapult us back into the castle. I love that we had this flashback, and after the flashback's over, Bjorn's a bear. <laughs> I'm just going to be he he got, just chilling as a bear, He got so man. worked up telling the story. <laughs> you see, we were fighting these people. Let me demonstrate. Let me show you what happened. <laughs> well, maybe it was, well, then I bit that guy's face. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I should explain. <laughs> bear. Bear pauses in the telling of the battle. Weariness rises up and chokes the words about to be spoken. Bear flips two damage or fear face up. Oh. Oh. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> well, do that one to start. Oh! Seven, six, discard six, my three, one yeah. inspiration and then discard the card. Okay. And I'll just do the other one. Flip one damage face up. Ha -ha, then flip this face up. Jokes on you. <laughs> <laughs> so Very you're good. a little better off than you were when you started. Bayern's thoughts return to the present moment as the council turns their attention to your fellowship, now gathered to report the information you earned through combat. Honorable lords, I encountered mercenary raiders not too far from here. I still have the wounds from that battle. I bring you a warning. These are no common cell swords. There is a greater force at work. 
Clear this battle map, retrieve the set aside battle map, and place it as indicated. Boop. There's it all remembers all of the stuff. You all gather to present your information together. Place the heroes as indicated. We back Bjorn up because he's a bear. Like, hold on. Super best <laughs> friend squad. Listen to what he has to say. <laughs> One of us is translating for me. <laughs> As your story unfolds, you see the unease grow in both Thanathor and Theoden. Saruman is grave and silent. Finally, you have reported all you have learned, but you can see by the dour looks on every face that you will have to do more to convince the Council that your words are true. Final objective, convince Danathor and Theoden to listen to your information. And we're in a rally phase. Reset right. your deck, scout two. Again, time to talk. <laughs> so, um, as one. Yes. Your card. That shield maiden skill. Yes. yes, the shield maiden skill. Is that the first skill in the deck? Like, is that one we get to auto prepare? It is one of the success cards. Since right? you're shuffling your deck right now, so do you want to yeah. find it's it? It's either and show two it? or three. I'm, yep. Right, okay. It's number one, actually. Oh, it, it is. is number okay. One. Okay, so that one is automatically wrong. prepared oh, when you start the I game. Was Thinking of the one that benefits the test. I'm sorry. Yes. We may one. have moved some titles around. Yeah, we I think did. that's why we're. <laughs> yes. So auto prepare it is. Very good. Yeah, and also d you didn't get to necessarily use it, but do you want to pop friend of bees up? Oh, oh yeah. Just because it is my one it's of my favorites. Release the bees. <laughs> So yeah, that is that is the friend of bees. It is great. Yeah. Bear man hanging out with bees. Oh, yes. <laughs> One of my other favorites. Just to reiterate, yes, treasure chests will pop up in previous campaigns if you have this. Mm -hmm. and have it added to the I do map. regret that we didn't get to search the chest on that battle map. Oh well. We mm -hmm. ran out of time. We killed mm -hmm. them too quickly. So too efficient. <laughs> Someone got hungry. <laughs> Probably full of bees, anyways. So <laughs> <laughs> they live in his fur. <laughs> we got some new, some new cards to choose from. Oh, very exciting! Yes, got two. We're in the action phase. Actually, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be a bear hanging out in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to. Oh no! I have to spend an inspiration. Never mind. Can't do it. Take it back. <laughs> oh, you're to prepare two cards. To yes. prepare a second, to yeah. discard that one, but yeah. that's all right. Mm. Uh, as a pro tip, uh, if you do not wish to be stuck as a bear in a council chamber, perhaps, <laughs> uh, maybe you want to use the great bear as to add hits on an attack when you are Yeah, you can. ready to kill the last thing. Also, the great bear, when you interact, you do need to discard some skills. Because bears aren't great uh -huh. at interacting. So you could right. always discard that, that one. That gives you a chance to yeah. not be a bear anymore. Yeah. So in any way, there's, there's ways out. Who would like to do what? What do we got to do? I mean, it sounds like we got to talk to a couple people and I'm a bear. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. So Callie's going to walk into the center of this room here. My assembled lords. And instead of talking to people, click on the table. <laughs> <laughs> the long council table is strewn with maps, papers, and glasses half filled with jeweled liquid. The clutter cannot be helping the council reach a decision. You can just tidy up. Yeah, I'm just going to clean this up. Don't mind me. While well, Danathor and Thayden discuss the mercenary threat, you're able to clear the clutter on the table between them. Simply organizing the maps and papers helps the council start to be more productive. Gain one inspiration. I'm done. <laughs> you do have another move, if you want it. I'll stay right here, right next to Saruman. Keeping an eye on. <laughs> <laughs> Has the time come for me to confront my father? I believe so. Oh, of course. Do I need to go? It's time. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we get a good narrative arc this way. Turn Let's yes, talk. So Click on it. Yeah. So I can ask him how the council's going, or convince Danathor of your information. I am feeling pretty good. I have multiple skills prepared to help with my weaker stats. I've got Determined, I've got a stack of Inspiration. I'm going to try to convince Danathor. Very good. You speak fervently, trying to break through Danathor's fear and distrust to convince him of the information you found. Heroes collectively test Wisdom, input the number oh. of successes. Mm. So we okay. each test Wisdom, and we're going to give the total. <laughs> <laughs> I give you my way, Brad. Wow. 
I'm gonna throw three. I am three. the wisest bear. I only draw two when I got two successes. All right, yeah. so we got two yeah. from Callie, three Smart from me, bear. two from Bear. Two from me. Wow. Two from Bear. <laughs> All right, so Let's nine see. successes. Pretty that darn good. solid. How does Denethor feel about it? Eventually, Denethor nods along with your report. Yes, it is clear to me now that there is some other foe lurking in the shadows beyond the borders of both Gondor and Rohan. Only together will, be will we be victorious against such an enemy. The heroes collectively gain four inspiration. Ooh. You should for sure get some. Let's okay. I mean, even things out. I'm sitting on two. I don't think I'm I need I'm sitting on another. three. I don't need any. Um, I have one. So what if we each gained two? Yeah. Very good. I'm not going to get another action this round anyway. So. And because Bard, you're my inspiration. <laughs> All right, sorry. Very good. Your, p your pitch is too perfect. You're going to get his copyright struck. In this form, are you a Baird? <laughs> <laughs> That is my favorite Chicago cover band. <laughs> all bears. Very good. The bears. So that, do you want to finish your move? Yeah, I don't want to finish okay. I don't want to stay by him. Walk up. <laughs> hey, Dad. Um, <laughs> Very shuffle good. Shuffle off, shuffle off. Uh, what would you two like to do? Freyhild is going to go over to Theoden and needlessly intensely confront Theoden or try and help him. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's needlessly intense, I must add. You just strong, walk right up. Hey. Theoden. I, think, I feel like that's Freyhild's default state is needlessly intense. Yeah. <laughs> Except when she's with her horse. And oh, yeah. She, yeah. The horse is like a kitten. <laughs> you lay out the facts of your encounter, which village you found deserted, and how far you had traveled to find the ambush waiting for you. Again, we collectively test wisdom and input the number of successes. Again. Nice. Oh, let yeah. me go for... Oh! Two! Oh. Ooh, I... Mm. I'm going to burn determined, because I can't do much with that blank, and get another blank. Oh, well. Yeah. Just one from me. One from me. So, one from me, one Actually, from Frey Hild. You know two, from two from Calamon. Yeah. Changing my plans. Hold on. Okay. All right. I am okay. also going to get rid of Determined because I don't feel like I'm going to need it anytime soon okay. to get rid of that since that has a double on it anyways. I know I can still get my mm -hmm. two. Okay. It'll still just be two. You're still doing two oh, and spending yeah. inspiration, but six successes. When you finish your explanations, Theoden is in a state of high fury. Nothing will stop the combined might of Gondor and Rohan in hunting down whatever foe thinks to challenge us. Our alliance will, from this day forward, be as solid as the very mountains that separate our lands. Each hero becomes determined. Aha! It's a good thing oh. we just got yeah. rid of those, huh? <laughs> very good. Determined, 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 and determined. Thank you. You get a determined, and you get a determined. Everybody gets a determined. The information you gathered from the mercenary raiders has convinced the council. King Theoden agrees to travel with Lord Danethor as far as Edoras and discuss potential strategies for coordinating their forces along the way. You will accompany them, consult with both leaders, and continue to help both Gondor and Rohan in the coming war. The heroes win. <laughs> Lore increases by four. Each hero receives four experience. Woo! And so as the campaign goes on, we'll use that lore and experience to upgrade our decks and upgrade our equipment. And this is the uh, establishing adventure for the campaign, so there's a little bit more extra that happens after this. So we're going to keep reading mm. after the win text. In right. thanks for your participation in the council, Rohan and Gondor have arranged a gift for each of you. <laughs> each hero will gain one mount. Place the pack mule, the friendly pony, the war charger, the traveler's horse, and the swift steed in the play area. All right, so swift, traveler's, war charger, pack mule, friendly pony? Yep. yep. Hmm. I know. Josh <laughs> is really excited about Grumblebum the we've, Bear. We've shown Grumblebum off, right? <laughs> we have. You guys can't see my face, but I'm not happy. <laughs> You're a real Grumblebum right now. They aren't. Very grumbly. Select a mount. Which mount would you like? You're not going to change, No, no, no. I'd... Bjorn. Yeah. Which of those appeals yeah. the most to you? I mean, the horse that adds hits. Do it. Seems good. Take that and war I can charger. add thunder and stun. Mm-hmm. War charger. Uh, but <laughs> you probably uh, belong. The pack mule. You can prepare a lot of oh cards. You're a guide. <laughs> Let's show I didn't that read off. The text. Oh. We're gonna pop that up on the cam for you. Oh, the pack mule for the win. Okay, so pack mule. I can have up to two additional prepared skills once per round. When I would discard a prepared skill, I may place that skill on top of my deck instead. And as Bjorn, 
with all of his scouting when mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. gosh <sighs> the guide likes to bring a lot of supplies so okay the mounts okay this is good <laughs> are uh, a new type of equipment that you have so in addition to your uh weapons and your armor and your trinkets and whatever you have you also now can have mounts uh, one mount per hero at the start of every adventure. And they're shared through the party, but Bjorn will most likely like the pack horse. So Freyhild's <laughs> hero ability is, after setup, you get a mount. So you can pick which one you want to use for any given. Yeah, you can cool. either have one Including. that you gain from here or have Snowbright. Okay, it is yep. just Snowbright. It's just Snowbright. Okay, so I can't play as Freyhild no. to start with Grumblebone. No. Uh, well, no. you could if you choose to start with Grumblebum instead of Snowbright. Okay, so yep. you can yep. just choose from any. Yep. yep. <laughs> but yeah. So if you f if you meet Grumblebum during your adventure, right. during your campaign, you can. Yeah. Who's next? Boromir gets the next choice. Which horse would you like? Can I also add that we completely snubbed Saruman during? Yeah, no. We did not, not talk to him at all. <laughs> We know, though. Like, we <laughs> know. Players, yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. So I'm This guy's a jerk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> developing the campaign was really interesting to be able to write the character um, in an earlier point in time than the books, the trilogy, sees mm -hmm. him. Um, because in the background, in the timeline, we know that he's already doing some shady things. Um, but that hasn't come out to... For instance, Gondor and Rohan yet. <laughs> right. So I'm a little torn between the Swift Steed and the War Charger. War Charger, as you mentioned, is pretty great in a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, the Swift Steed, though, would let me move out of a space and ignore. When I move out of a space once per round, I can ignore enemies in that space. Yep. So I can make sure I'm always where I want to be. I won't have another bag situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it also lets me generate some inspiration if I just need to move on a turn. Oh, nice. Which, Boromir isn't the best at inspiration generation. He's not terrible, but he doesn't have anything really built into his kit. Sure. That helps too much mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the Swift Steed. Okay. okay. Look wistfully at the War Charger and decide to take the Swift Steed. Fair enough. Calvin. I'll take the War Charger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I, of course. Your yes. mace used his might. Yeah. Uh, a little hobbit. On so, a huge war horse. <laughs> this is a little less efficient because I already had access to stun, but now I have access to sunder as well. So this is going to be fun. Nice. Alman takes the war charger. <laughs> and Freyhild, for a. If you uh, need to Freyhild is motivated only to make a good friend for Snowbright. Oh, Which one would yeah. look more friendly for Snowbright? Can well, we ask the chat? Oh, yeah. So these are the other two mounts um, that are the options, Traveler's Pony and Friendly Pony. Traveler's Horse or Friendly Pony. Um, I believe we've showed off Friendly Pony before, and many people recognize that art as, in fact, Bill. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, yeah. Bill. I think Bill should be Snowbright's friend, but uh, can we ask the chat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, That's... if you're looking for the friendly one. <laughs> Yeah, we'll leave this We're one up to perhaps leading a little. All bit. of you, mm -hmm. whichever horse gets the most votes in the next, you know, thirty seconds to a minute, is the one that we'll choose. And mm -hmm. there was another question. Yeah. So Waybread. Yes. They wanted to see that as well. Oh, absolutely. So Waybread is the um, success card. There's two copies of it that comes with Provisioner. Um, it is very good at healing, as I imagine uh, Lembus would be. Mm -hmm. just makes you feel much better. Right, and I'll, I'll show it once you guys are done looking at the horses. But for right now, I'll just read it. So at the end of your turn, you can discard it to flip two damage mm -hmm. or fear face down, mm -hmm. and then scout you. Mm -hmm. It also has rest two on it. Yep, so once you flip them face down, you do have the option to clear yep. them at the end of your turn. Either using Waybread or any other rest card you have. Seems good. I like Seems it a lot. Good. <laughs> All right. Do we have any votes? We have one vote for friendly. It just, it just went like. Oh, yeah, I see. Just saw it. Yeah, yeah, it's. I see. Yeah, we give That's them the thirty seconds, fine. and then the delay hits, and then uh, we talk about other stuff that they then hear about, and then we. <laughs> That's they fair. They start typing their questions about waybread and. Right. <laughs> I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about mounts then. Um, as the campaign goes on, um, they do not have a lore value like other equipment does, so they will never change. Um, but we may find other 
mounts um, that then we could choose to equip instead of these mounts that we're being given by Denethor and Theoden. Um, things like Grumblebum the bear, yeah. um, or perhaps other allies that we have in this stack. But right. Grace, what if I'm playing a different campaign and Denethor is not around to hand me a bunch of horses? In fact, you can find mounts <laughs> through the encounters in journey maps, the same way you might find trinkets. So I'm very excited to show off some of those encounters. They've been fun to write. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're even. <laughs> so, someone made the point that the Traveler's Horse can likely carry more cheese. Oh, we are, we are the, we cheese are the cheesemongers. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cheese horse. Very nice. Cheese horse. <laughs> right, you can have Very that good. Back. And where'd the rest of them go? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Right there. Right in front of my face. And again, we're setting up the campaign. So now we have a choice to make. Will you travel to help Gondor or Rohan first? Oh, man. We collectively decide. And so this um, campaign will travel back and forth between the two kingdoms. Um, and over the course of a full year, you will help both of them. It's just when you decide to go to each kingdom, um, when you choose to travel, you will play a repeating travel adventure um, that changes throughout the seasons. If you play it in spring, it's a little easier. If you play it in winter, it's a little harder. <laughs> when you travel through the crossing, the enemies know where to find you now. Yep. Because you're repeating that, that journey. Yep. So. And so at this point, um, we would decide who to help first, basically. Are we going to stay it. here in Rohan to help Theoden um, after, of course, escorting Denethor back to Gondor? <laughs> um, or do we go with him to Gondor to help there first? So as a giant bear, I'm going to look over at this guy and then look at your dad. I just kind of shake my head. I don't like that guy. Oh, <laughs> shade. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be perfectly happy going to Rohan to help out uh, Lord King Theoden. Very Hill, needlessly intense, would of course suggest Let's Rohan. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, endless plains of grass, like it's great. Yeah. Whatever. Hate it. So, yeah, we're not going to. Literal hate. We're not going to play this travel map here and play quite it now, yet. But uh, right. We all we, have schedules. We don't to keep. quite have the time for mm -hmm. that. So yes, we did not play as a couple heroes. Yes. And not everybody had seen our last live stream. Absolutely. So I know there were a couple questions people wanted to see. Sure. Dwalin. So we can absolutely bring up Dwalin's hero card right. here. So what's special about Dwalin? What does Dwalin do? So Dwalin, as a dwarf, they tend to share a theme of like reusing and preparing cards. Um, and Dwalin, I believe, uh, can discard a card to prepare a card. Spend an inspiration. Spend an inspiration, yep. that's right. Okay. We went through a couple different yeah. iterations. Right, right. <laughs> we, there's a gap of time between when we finish <laughs> things and when we can show them to you. And we also write so many different versions of each card as we fine tune and and really try to nail in what works best. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we remember a version of each card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and sometimes a previous name of the yes, card. Yes, usually. Uh, so Dwalin is, of course, related to Balin. Um, so their, their abilities are fairly close thematically. Mm -hmm. But while Balin wants to go in raging and get hit in the face to prepare his good cards, Dwalin is a little more peaceful and can just spend some inspiration to do so. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, uh, if we wanted to show off one of Dwalin's uh, skill cards. Of course. I like the theming that dwarves dig through their discards. Yeah, right? <laughs> right. Just makes sense. Dwarves dig. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is this? This is a stirring performance. Yes. Man. Yeah. <sighs> Dwalin actually Bard. would be a pretty good musician, he would. but um, this of course helps with a spirit test, which Dwalin likes because Dwalin is suggested to start with the spear and attack with spirit a lot, Makes um, sense. as well as being a rest card and just generally helps survivability throughout the mm. uh, campaign. And his recommended role is the lore keeper. Yep. I think we mentioned yeah. that. But yes. The lore keeper is new and plays more with. Um, ramping up that lore game much like chests would if you're really wanting to help 
uh, your party get some lore. We have showed off one card before, but now this is another one that'll do that. Um, collector, every time you gain a trinket, lore will increase. Um, and so the app handles that automatically. This is never added to your deck. Okay. And it helps the entire party. Very cool. Yep. As well as some other shenanigans that Lorekeeper has going on. Nice. Upgrade the gear. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the object of the game, right? Get better <laughs> gear, hit things harder. Sadly, it can be useful. Yeah. Bear claws don't <laughs> improve, but. And then, did we want to go over Renarian? We should. Yeah. Again, for people that weren't able to see that previous stream. Absolutely, and we'll make sure to hit more. So this is Renarian's hero card. Um, feel free to pause and look at whatever stats you wish. Um, I will draw your attention. Renarian has an ability that costs an action. This is the first hero we've had to do so. Um, she is a very dynamic character to play with the scouting and preparing and then resolving effects of those and then using those cards. It's pretty fast paced. Um, mm -hmm. She also has a four in her wit because her suggested starting item is a short bow, a two-handed ranged item that tests wit. Hmm. This is a companion to our great bow from the yeah. core set. So it, it doesn't punch quite as hard, mm -hmm. but it, it... It's a good ranged option. Yeah. Yep. It, it's a solid ranged weapon. It uses wit, which, depending on the character you're... Right you're playing. Mm -hmm. And this is the first tier of an upgraded version we showed in our last stream that yep. does have 12 hits and lethal as an option. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bonkers. Yep. And of course, I'll show <laughs> off um, one of my uh, favorite skill cards from Rhaenyrian's deck, which really illustrates the kind of um, dynamic play that she has. It's called Mischief. And would you read that for me, Josh? All right, Mischief. Read. So during your turn here, I'll just I'll put it there so that they can see it. I'll lean awkwardly when sure. they're looking at that. All right. So during your turn, you may choose a hero to select three cards from their discard pile. They prepare one revealed card and place the rest on top of their deck. Then you discard the skill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the idea of um, playing with the discard as a resource that you have to pull on. Right. As well as that dynamic of preparing cards and then using them and then preparing them again. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's very crafty. She can always come up with a plan for what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So those are all six heroes that come in Spreading War. Right. And because the battle map only had one section where we were actually fighting thing, we didn't mm -hmm. get to see a lot of the enemies that we did show off in the live stream. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see those enemies, all of them, go and check out the live stream because we did show all of them off and yep. they are amazing. <laughs> so yeah, go check that out on, uh, it's just on our YouTube channel. You can find it, I believe in you. <laughs> um, but there was another question that mm -hmm. I do want to answer mm -hmm. or that I want to ask to oh, have sure. you answer. Uh, with the, I wanted to call it lettuce bread, the- <laughs> Whey bread. Whey bread. Yeah. With the whey bread, there was a question about the timing. If yeah. you do this at the end of the turn, how mm -hmm. do you rest? Which is also... <laughs> so, in this game, when there is ever something that would happen simultaneously, two effects that are the same timing, which this would be at the end of your turn and at the end of your turn for rest, you get to decide what order they resolve in. Uh, the players all could collectively decide, mm -hmm. or you as a player individually could decide, this is what I do. Um, in this case, I could choose at the end of my turn, I'm using the top ability of Waybread to flip these face down. And then I will also discard Waybread to rest at the end of my turn after that to discard those same things that I flipped face down. Mm -hmm. so, so yes, good question. Timing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, was there anything else that we wanted to talk about? We do still have about 10 minutes before sure. we need to call it. Well, is there anything unique in between that we want to show anybody or no? We could. Let's show uh, some upgrading. Let's show some upgraded sure. skills. Um, so you are playing a shield maiden, yeah. right? Oh, Let's get yeah. those shield maiden skills yeah, I out. I haven't even seen these. Why am I asking? I'm telling you, this is what we're doing. <laughs> I want to see more skills. Oh, gosh. 
chat, you get to see my wonderful homemade organizational uh, development copy. It's very exciting. Um, and you are playing a soldier, yep. so let's get those out. Soldier. Okay. Fantastic. You're playing a guide. guide. Here's those. Thank you. I'm playing a provisioner. Soldier. Here's these. So we all gained four XP. Let's go ahead into that campfire scene. Crossing between the kingdoms of Rohan and Gondor as we're escorting Denethor home. We're going to do the Maring Stream uh, battle map after this. We're not on this stream, but you would in the <laughs> campaign. And we have our campfire screen that lets us uh, look at if we have any items to upgrade, which we don't at this time. We only have 11 lore. And of course, all of our uh, heroes have experience to spend. So Bjorn, do you know what card you want to buy? So looking at the cards, so mm -hmm. I, I have Helping Hand, which allows me to interact with heroes in my space, mm -hmm. help them out. I want to be running off by myself. Sure. I have Point the Way, so I can discard for a nearby hero. I can discard my inspiration for a nearby hero to gain that much inspiration. Mm -hmm. She seems good, but still nearby. I think I'm going to do Lead by Example. So after I gain a boon, another hero can gain the same boon. There you go. And it also has hide on it because bears. <laughs> Stealth bear. <laughs> Stealth bear. Surprise bear. How about you, Freyhild? Well, I remember that one time when Boromir was unfortunately uh, <laughs> You get put in a bag one time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just one of those things that will always follow you around. But if I had picked, if I, if I had had Taunting Cry in my deck, um, it probably would have helped out there. It has a, it's an aid tactic. When a nearby hero would provoke an attack, you may discard this skill. If you do, that hero does not provoke attacks this turn. There you go. Yeah, Give you one good. turn of carte blanche. Yeah. Nice. Whenever they've got those burlap sacks out. Um, <laughs> hey, and... <laughs> your mother's a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And of course, that as one was such an uh, attractive card, I could buy a second copy of you as could. one. You could, yeah. Um, and if you ever wanted to not be a shield maiden, you could keep a oh, copy. Yeah. Dab yep. on another roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that would help keep me that around. wherever I go. Um, there is also press the advantage of Valor. Mm -hmm. After a hero in your space test, you may discard this card to scout X, where X is equal to that test result. Oh, doing math. So, <laughs> yeah, if I wanted to do more math, I would pick that one. <laughs> so, yeah, which of those three is most attractive to you? Well, traumatized by Boromir's yeah. experience, I would definitely pick Taunton. That turned Pride. out great. <laughs> well, and certainly, <laughs> since we have a soldier in the group, getting another tactic is yeah, a good right, idea. Right, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of, do you have an opinion on You know how we your said soldiers, soldiers were really reliable? All three of my three XP skills are the same. Yep. However, I want to point out that this is a pretty good three XP skill. You want to put that All in right. there? Yeah. Let's do it. Most three XP skills are blank. They don't have a symbol. This one has a fate. Soldiers get fate right off the bat. It's a tactic, so it plays with what my soldier stuff's already doing. Gets me a free scout when I travel if I want to discard it. And when I attack, I, after, before I attack, I get to move. Yeah. Wow. So... If you can chain those attacks, you can just keep yeah. moving. So it's it before you travel, you must discard this skill. So it's either I'm staying, I'm just walking right. slowly across the board, I'm just gonna <laughs> come towards you. Or oh if I need to travel a little further, I can just trash this card out, get a new one in, yep. and, and keep my offense train rolling. Nice. Very good. I love that. I suppose I should ask which copy yeah, is which mm, <laughs> I think I'll go with number four. One of them is <laughs> card number There's four. Only three. Card number four. Fair One, two, three enough. are my starting skills. Uh, yes, and Calamanth took um, has the option of good cheer, mending, or gathering. Um, and while she's a very cheery hobbit, I believe gathering is going to be my choice because it plays with that food trait. After a nearby search token is discarded, you may discard the skill to scout one or gain one inspiration, and it has sprint one on it. Oh, wow. So I'm going to be a fish and hobbit. All right. Some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first adventure that of was... spreading war. Yes. So I know what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you guys thought, either in the chat or in the comments below. And I just want to thank everybody for joining us. This was a blast. I mean, obviously, thank all of you for coming. I know 
it's it's a weird time to be gathering, but I appreciate everybody being here. This has been awesome and flashbacks and, and just everything was great. I was, if I'm being honest, I was a little concerned when we walked into this room with a bunch of friendlies and I am a man bear and I wanted to hit things. <laughs> So I appreciate that that did change. <laughs> I, I really liked that just change of pace. As a designer, it's been really interesting to find new ways to use battle maps as well as do new things with mm -hmm. journey maps. Right. Um, I think that this idea is one of the better ones that have come up. <laughs> yeah, the core system of this game and the way it is fueled by this app allows us to do some really crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And I... Putting like, a flashback the, in. Like, hey, you know that board you've been playing on? Throw it over there. You don't need it now. You need this board now. <laughs> I mean, don't throw it because you're going to need to reassemble <laughs> yes. it. But yes. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, hopefully we still have some surprises left in the campaign for you mm -hmm. as I'm, we go on. I'm sure there will be plenty. I'm not <laughs> concerned about that. When we get there and it... It's Elrond pulling the strings the whole time. <laughs> Whoa. No spoilers. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Even fake spoilers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Zero spoilers, period. All right. Well, again, thank you. Thank you for joining us. For anybody who hasn't yet and is watching us on our YouTube page, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up because you thought this was as fun as, well, maybe not quite as fun as we thought, but almost as fun because you weren't actually sitting here playing. But yeah, and then leave us some comments below, tell us what you liked. And for those joining us from Gen Con, thank you so much. And we are very excited that we get to be a part of your experience at Gen Con. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>